In this video, I'm showing you how to download and install DaVinci Resolve 18. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end and let's go and get straight into this. Here we are on my desktop and let's go and get straight into this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is, is go and open up a web browser. So personally, I'm actually using Google Chrome. So I'm going to go and open up here, but you can use any web browser you'd like and then just come to a search engine. Then once you're here, all you need to do is go and search for DaVinci Resolve. But do keep watching as I'm showing you exactly how to download it safely and then install it. So go and search for DaVinci Resolve, just like so, and go and search for it. And here we are. Then all you want to do is make sure you come to the official website, which is actually blackmagicdesign.com. That is because that is who owns DaVinci Resolve 18 and the developers of it. So go and click on it just like so, and it's going to go and say DaVinci Resolve 18. Then all you need to do is scroll down, and it's going to take a while to scroll down right to the page, as I don't put the download button at the top. So you can go and read through all this information here. As you can see, there is so much to go and read and take in. So keep on scrolling down. You will eventually come across this section here called two great versions. And as you can see, we've got DaVinci Resolve and then DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now just DaVinci Resolve by itself is the free download. As you can see here, it says free download and then here it says buy. So you want to click on free download now, just like so. Then as you can see, we've got a few different options here. You can either go and get the DaVinci Resolve 18 beta or the DaVinci Resolve 17. The ones on the right hand side are the paid ones. And on this guide, we're downloading DaVinci Resolve 18, um, but you can go and check out uh, one of the previous videos to go and check out um, how to download DaVinci Resolve 17. So then all you want to do is go and choose your operating system. That could be Mac, Windows, or Linux. I'm personally using Windows. So go and click here. And as you can see, we now need to go and fill it in this information here. So once you've filled your information in, you then just need to go and click register and download, just like so. And here we are. As you can see, it's going to go and drop the download immediately. And it's about 2.9 gigabytes. However, if your download doesn't start, then maybe be because you use autofill. So just make sure you type everything in manually and then it should work. And also you may need to go and view the privacy policy. So if you go and get a message saying you need to go and read it, just go and click view privacy policy, click on it and go and read it. And then you can go and download it, but it may take a few moments. So just keep waiting and clicking and see what happens. And also just to note as well, every browser is slightly different. So if you're using a different browser to Google Chrome, your downloads will not be in the bottom left. They may be in the top. It all depends on which browser, but regardless, of the browser they're all, all downloads are always going to be in your file explorer in the downloads folder so you can open that up and go to your downloads folder and you'll view it there however you won't be able to use it yet because it's still downloading so all you need to do is wait for this to finish downloading and i'll show you what to do with the next step so the download is now finished so either you need to go and open up your downloads folder in your file explorer as i just said or you can just go and open up from your browser Personally, I'm going to go and drag the file onto my desktop just like so. So it will be a zip file, but that does not matter at all as Windows can now open up zip files. So all you need to do is go and double click on the file just like so. And as you can see, it's going to take a moment to load and then it's going to go and launch a file explorer. Then as you can see, we've got this application inside of it. And what you want to do is drag this out of it. So I'm going to go and move it onto my desktop just like so. So all you need to do is wait for it to copy the item from the zip file onto your desktop, whatever location you selected. So DaVinci Resolve is now on my desktop, so I'm just going to go and move it up just like so, and let's go and run this and go and follow the instructions. So all you need to do is go and double click on it just like so, and then in a moment you're going to go and get a little pop-up saying it's being extracted. And then you're going to go and get this pop-up sort of menu here saying it's being extracted. You'll then go and get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately my screen recorder doesn't record that, but all you need to do is go and click yes if you agree. Then you're going to go and get this installer pop up here and you can go and choose everything uh, you want to go and install. So as you can see, it does say in order to install Resolve, you must install all of these components. So I'm going to make sure they're all ticked and then you can go and click install just like so. And as you can see, it's now going to go and install all of these. So it's going to take a bit of time because there's quite a few different things it needs to do. And it is actually saying here as well, it may take some time. So all you need to do is sit back and wait for this to finish. Then after a few minutes, you're going to go and get this pop up here saying, welcome to the DaVinci Resolve Setup Wizard. So go and click on next, and then you need to go and read the terms. I've already read them. And then I'm going to go and click next. And then you can go and choose where you want to actually install DaVinci Resolve to. So if you're using SSDs and hard drives, you can go and change the location by clicking on change. Personally, I'm going to leave it there and go and click next. And then we can go and begin the installation by clicking install. So now we just need to wait for this. Then once it's finished doing all the installs, you're going to go and get this message here saying completed the DaVinci Resolve setup wizard. So you could then go and click on finish just like so. And this is still continuing here. So you do just need to go and continue to wait. And then a few of the other components which are required for DaVinci Resolve to run will need to um, be installed. 
and then once it's finished it's going to go and disappear and as you can see it now says here to complete the installation you need to go and restart your computer you want to go and click on yes personally i'm going to click no because i'm just going to quickly pause my recording and catch up with you once i've gone and restarted my computer so i just restarted my computer and i've now gone and got the davinci resolve icon on my desktop but if you don't have it there you can always go and click on the magnifying glass and go and search for it as well so let's go and open it up and I'll show you it going and working. So when you first go and launch it, it may take a few sort of seconds or even moments to go and load because it's the first time you're launching it. So I've just got this window saying what's true in DaVinci Resolve 18. So I'm going to go and click on continue. And then as you can see, we can go and either do a quick setup or you can just go and click skip and start right now. So I'm going to click there. So as you can see, it's now launching up. So here we are on DaVinci Resolve 18 and this is such a great free video editing software. So as you can see at the bottom on the cut section, um, we've also got media on the far left and then you've got edit, fusion, color, fair light and deliver. So many different sections. And then to go and get started, all you need to do is go and drag some videos, photos and just media in general in here and you can go and start editing it. In the future, I'm making a full guide on how to use DaVinci Resolve 18 as well. So you can go and learn how to edit in it. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.